Hello again. This time I'm going to be talking about pathways and directories. You can think of the way that a server is laid out as an inverse tree. At the very top is the root, and the directories contained within this root are branches. And there can of course be directories contained within these directories, so as it continuously branches out, you're going to get that kind of like that tree pattern going on, which is why we have that name. Now when you first log onto the server, you're going to be located in something called your home directory. Everyone gets their own home directory, so it's like their own little unique space. And we can actually figure out where you're located by using the pwd command, because our home directory should be located in another directory, which should eventually be located in the root directory. So if I use pwd and I hit enter, I'm going to get back something. And again, remember, this is standard out. Remember that? Great, so let me read this out. This forward slash right here is actually indicating the root. So it says, as soon as you read this, you should know you're starting at the root. And the rest of the forward slashes are going to delimit the directories that you're changing into, that you're traversing downward in. Because remember, this is supposed to be like an inverse tree. So the way I can read this is, I start at the root, I go into a directory called home, and in there should, there should be a directory called genome. And finally, in there I should find a directory called Air Jordan, which is an awesome name, by the way. And as it turns out, that's my username, and that's where my home directory is located, which is why when I did PWD, it points to here. You're going to get something different because, of course, you hopefully have a different username, and you're going to be located somewhere else, unless you somehow hacked into my account. And if that's the case, please get out of it. <laughs> But anyway, this is actually an example of something called the absolute file path. It's absolute, firstly, because it starts at the root. They all start at the root if they're absolute. And secondly, it doesn't matter where you, it, um, no matter where you are, it's going to be referring to the same location. Conversely, we have something called the relative file path. It is in relation to your current working directory. And as you can imagine, it's going to change whenever you change your working directory. Now that should sound familiar because we just said, uh, I just said PWD, print working directory, so there's that name again. Um, we're not going to see what it means just yet, but it's basically where your commands are being run. So it's in relation to where you are currently. I'm currently in Air Jordan, but if I were to somehow change into Genome, well my commands are going to then be looking at it through the lens of Genome and not Air Jordan. And the great thing about file paths is that no matter where you are, like I said, it's always going to be a valid pathway. So if you're worried about uh, your instructions changing based on where you are, this is, where, this is when you should probably use an absolute file path. Anyway, going back to your home directory, you're going to notice that there's a tilde there. It's probably going to look a little different than this because I have a super awesome custom prompt. But you should still see a tilde or something like that. Well, no, you really should see a tilde. Um, but anyway, that is a variable. It's not actually a tilde there. It is actually standing for your home directory, the, the absolute pathway to your home directory. And you might be wondering, well, OK, how do I see that? We can actually use our old friend, well, not too old because I just introduced it, but we can use Echo, basically. Echo will, like I said before, repeat back to you what you type. But it has an exception in that the variables that you give it, it's going to print what's inside of it instead of the, the whatever stood for that variable. So if I do this, echo space tilde, it should actually be printing back what I just had up here. So why don't we give this a go? And then there we go. You see that it's going to print back the same thing. And Hopefully it's not going to be mine, but yours when you try this out. Lastly, I want to mention a useful feature when typing commands. The up and down arrow keys. Your command history is actually stored server side, and you can call it up again at any time. So if you mess up, don't worry. You can hit the up and down arrow keys to recall old commands. Like so. So here I am, I'm just cycling through my commands, up arrow key, down arrow key to go back down. And you can see the commands that I've already entered previously. 
So this is going to come in really useful when you say misspell something, you get an error, and you think, oh, geez, if only I changed that just slightly, I would have gotten it right. Well, now you can. Just hit up and then change it, hit enter, and you're done. So that's a useful thing to keep in mind. I use it all the time because I make plenty of mistakes. Also, if you're curious, where is this history located? There's a command for that. It's called his history. It's going to print out to standard out all your commands that you've ever entered. Well, that's not true. There's this buffer and it's, uh, it's limited. So everything you've entered up to like, I don't know, 10,000 commands ago, you can actually change it, but I won't get into how to do that. So here I hit enter and I can see a lot of the old commands I did. Uh, this becomes more useful later on when we learn about tools like grep. So uh, I'll hold off on explaining when we can use this kinds of stuff, but just keep in mind this command exists and um, anyway, I will get into how to look inside of directories and how to change into them and do other stuff next time. But I, I just want you to remember what an absolute file path is, what a relative file path is, uh, what your home directory is, and um, what the significance of the tilde is. Um, oh, and maybe you remember history and the up and down arrow keys if that serves you. Anyway, until next time.